As a scared medical student, you start your first year with Dr. Hoff in the history of medicine and you think, oh goodness, what did I really get myself into that first year as you go through orientation? But you sit down and uh, Dr. Hoff goes over the, the, the history and the, the background of what it is that you are taking on and it, you can really embrace that this is not just going to be a career, but this is really a calling and something that uh, many people before you have, have come and done just as Dr. Hoff and, and he's here to not only impact osteopathic medicine, but to impact us as students to be uh, future proud osteopathic physicians providing good quality care to our patients. I remember the first time we read class with him. He walked in and he kind of paused. We were about to start history of medicine and um, he could tell, I mean I just think from years of experience that there were some people that weren't quite sure that they were supposed to be DOs, that they wanted to be MDs and they were here in the DO program and he just paused and he said, you know, no one cares if you're a DO or an MD. They care if you're stupid. So don't be stupid, you know, take your DO education and be something different, like be this and commit to this. And I think like a lot of people, I don't know, I took a lot away from that and I'll never forget that. And one of the first things that Dr. Hoff instilled in me was that it's not about just medicine. Medicine is an art as well as a science. And so he spent a lot of time focusing during his history of medicine class on how physicians need not only know a lot about uh, the science side of things, but also the art side of things. Every time his lecture started out, it'd be uh, Picasso or um, a Van Gogh or something like that. And he explained a little bit about it. So he kind of brought into medicine the humanities of it. and. Um, just kind of integrated it in. It was really nice to have that perspective. So whether it be art from Dr. Hoff or it could be theater or acting or business or any other other things that we're interested in, Dr. Hoff shows us how to bring that into our careers. For me it's it's finding that common ground, finding some way to uh, excite the students interest and make them want to sit up and learn more. So I have a few favorite Dr. Hoff quotes, including rhubarb, it'll plug you right up, uh, best thing since beer, canned beer and baseball, um, he's as hypotensive as the devil, and medicine is an art informed by science, and I think Dr. Hoff does a really good job of living, especially that last one, um, in kind of everything that he does. Um, he's just an amazing guy, honestly, and I've just really enjoyed learning from him, and uh, just listening to what he has to say, because everything that he says is very profound, and it's definitely impacted how I will be as a physician in the future. 32 years I've taught probably 6,000 doctors and as a guess and when I think about that I think that's a lot of good that someone's going to do and I'm really humbled to have been able to be instrumental in that. I serve as the president of our chapter of the American College for Osteopathic Family Physicians and every year we put on a Christmas party at the House of Mercy. It's a local women, women's shelter and Dr. Hoff has been our Santa Claus for a few years now and just watching him work with those kids and seeing the way their faces light up, light up when Santa Claus brings them a present, it's just wonderful and then he takes the time to do that and then interact with our chapter members at the same time really shows his um, commitment to serving DMU and serving the community. The favorites that I can think of over the years are the ones where I see uh, the light go on behind the students' eyes. When I see that there's an aha moment that happens, those happen a lot and they're one of the things that I think make teaching uh, more perhaps than just a an occupation. When we were taking cardiology, I had a really hard time with EKGs. So I went and saw him and he spent a half hour with me and after about 10 EKGs, whereupon I got about two of them right, I burst into tears. I was so distraught. And he didn't rush me, he didn't try to shush me, he just let me cry, and which was great and a little humiliating. But then after I kind of cried it out a little bit, uh, he looked at me and he said, well, you know, I had some problems too. And he told me a story about when he was a student and he had some problems and it made me feel a lot less dumb and um, it inspired me to do a lot better in the course. I buckled down. I wasn't scared of the EKGs. I embraced them because he had and it inspired me to do a lot better and learn a lot more than I would have if he hadn't taken that time to sit down with me as a person and deal with this crying girl in his office. You know it's going to be a good class when Dr. Hoff's lecturing and he's talking about myocardial infarctions and when something goes wrong and he calls it a, a pant loading event. You know it's always a uh, 
always going to be interesting. That he really enca encapsulated osteopathic medicine into his teaching, which was a phenomenal part and one of my favorite parts of him as a teacher. My other thing that I would really love is that I really think Dr. Hoff looks a lot like A.T. Still, and so I'm still holding out that at our graduation next May, he'll come on with his bag of bones and a cane and a hat, and we'll have our own live A.T. Still for the graduating class of 2015. I was really honored to be a part of the Healers Art elective class this um, when I was a first year, and Dr. Hoff is just a wonderful facilitator. And this class was a lot about um, the intangible things of medicine, um, the awe in medicine, grief and loss, wonder, and our service as physicians when we're practicing. And he had so many great stories about how we can be whole physicians throughout our lives, and how not to be burned out, and just to be the best possible people that we can be. What does it mean? What do we mean when we talk about being in service? What does service mean to us as professionals? And I think that course, for the students who take it, can be transformative. And so I'm, I'm really gratified that we were able to bring that course here. What I love about Dr. Hoff is his love for the DO profession, which then comes to us as students, which then we will go and teach the future generation. He really just stood up at the front of the room and said, you know, I was that dorky farm kid that was reading all the books all the time, and you know, here I am now to, to really show you what medicine can be and that you are true healers. And to me, from that first day walking in as a scared medical student to now walking out to clinical rotations in, in August, um, everything that he's taught me will be values that I take with me. First, I can say that I'm humbled and I'm very grateful that somebody would think uh, enough of what I've done to nominate me for something like this. I'm sure there are lots of people who deserve this award. Um, as to the students who nominated me, you know, thank you for that. And more importantly, just remember that uh, you can make a difference too.